I would like to talk about completing the job of adding a do-it-yourself trailer assist spring system using garage door springs. I've watched quite a few videos on this and what you see here is a very typical installation. I'm not going to go over the installation because it's really pretty much the same as everyone else's. But this is only half the job. And I haven't seen a video yet. There probably is some out there. I haven't seen every video, but the majority of the ones I've looked at don't even talk about finishing the job. All they do is they get the springs on there, they show you how easy it is to drop the gate and lift it up, and then they're done. And that's just not being done. Whenever you have an extension spring like this, it's being stretched to somewhere around 100% extension. And when you get that much stored energy in this spring, when you open the gate, these springs are stretched close to 100% in length. They have a lot of energy stored in them, and the one thing you don't want to do is to have these be around any person who could get injured if they break. When you buy replacement garage door springs, they usually come in a kit like this. You get two springs and two safety wires. And the safety wires are standard uh, equipment on uh, garage door springs used on garage doors. And what they do is they restrain the spring uh, from uh, bouncing around and throwing off pieces when they break. What you're going to do is you're going to thread a safety cable through the center of the garage door spring to restrain it in case it breaks so it doesn't go flying. So on one end, you're going to form a loop to hold it to the trailer gate. And on the other end, you're going to form a loop to attach it to another part of the trailer. The one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to attach your safety wire to the actual uh, spring attachment mechanisms, that's the eye bolt, the shackle, or the spring eye, because those are the points that could break. You want to move your safety wire out to a point on the trailer on both ends. Up here, it's on the trailer, not on the shackle. The cable has to be long enough so when the gate is open, the cable doesn't restrict it. So that's why you see all this slack in the cable. I have it held up temporarily by Velcro uh, straps to keep it from sagging too far. But when you open the gate, that's going to pull tighter, but not tight. You don't want it to be completely tight because that will restrict the gate. When the gate is fully open, you can see that the cable slack has been taken out. But again, it is not taut. It is loose. 